We are an English vineyard at the heart of the Star Valley in East Anglia. We make very high quality fine wines and liqueurs. The business has been very successful so far. Our sales have grown over 300% over the last couple of years, largely due to a lot of repeat business. People like our wines, they want to drink them, and we have been very lucky with the media as well and the awards that we have won. We take advantage of a wonderful climate. It's very dry. Uh, we call it the East Anglian Desert, which gives us the advantage over our competitors in other parts of the country. We also use top quality winemakers so the best in the country, so that we get the best for the wonderful grapes that we grow. We tend to sell to people who are wine enthusiasts, they are Waitrose buyers, we sell a lot of wine in Waitrose. Uh, they are people who shop in London, in Jeroboam's. We tend to sell to some of the better farm shops around here. The wines go very well in Asia because they're fresh and they're light and delicate. And we also supply to places like Calgary Park for the polo. Uh, we have a product that is generally considered at market. I want to see us grow uh, with the entree, definitely. I would like to see our cellar door sales also grow. We want to bring the winemaking process back here in a small way because English words are my husband's passion and that's where we want to really concentrate. Our plans for the future are to ultimately grow the business to around about 60,000 bottles a year. In the very short term, we need to raise production to approximately 30,000 bottles, which is achievable through investment in the brand. We will also need to increase storage facilities, not least because we are having to keep the wines longer on the lees in certain cases, which means they just have to be held back in bottle for longer. At the same time, we'll need to spend more money on automating those processes that do not inhibit quality, namely in the labelling, etc. And finally, we'll need to plant uh, additional vines as currently supply is not keeping up with demand. We also firmly believe that uh, wine trends are changing and the lighter, more delicate wines that we produce are becoming increasingly fashionable. We believe they can sell, there is a bigger market for them, and we can expand into that market. The exit strategy could be one or two strategies. First of all, the trade sale. As vineyards are scaling up, there are going to be smaller vineyards being bought up by larger vineyards within England. The second, and that is more intriguing, is that Give Us All Vineyard will be able to buy other vineyards. That will necessitate further capital raising and perhaps a listing uh, which is something that we will consider. Yeah.